But he feels like he's playing well. We spent a bit of time with him last night. He feels like he's playing great, you know, and just go out and enjoy it and try and, and win the golf tournament. That's his mindset. You just got a feeling that this pairing, if they get going from the start, you know, they can they can be real fireworks today. They could really take this place apart and they can kind of get going together and that could just be real good fun to watch and then every, the whole of the rest of the field really have to watch out because these two guys are playing extremely well at the moment. Bringing in from right to left, Tommy. It's perfect. can tell two different trajectories here. Hovland likes to work it left to right normally. Win off the right, so he's trying to counter the wind. Much straighter flight. Identical result, two great shots from these two after first. To the green, Hovland. Birdie putt. Uh, lovely putt there from Victor Hovland. I'm sure Tommy Fleetwood was watching very closely as well. Yeah, it's all about Good pace here to hold the line. Yeah, perfect. What a start from these two. Both make birdies. This is what we were hoping for. Hopefully these two can get each other going. Tommy with an iron. Par five. This needs to be high and soft. To finish close to this hole. Sits right behind the bunker there. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect from Fleetwood. Let's have a look at Hovland. Can he match Tommy Fleetwood's? Second shot on the second. Wow. That's a fine shot. In the left. Yeah, it's slow, this one. It's very slow. We've seen it before. Difficult to get it all the way there, but it's a good putt. For the eagle, what a chance this is. It's just on the left edge, no more than that. It's going to be Tommy Fleetwood in front, but he'll have company there. He's going to join the fray at 11 under par. With it. Why not driver out though at the third for Tommy Fleetwood? Aggressive play with the driver on three. He's taking on the bunker there in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I'm not sure Tommy can carry this bunker uh, today, but he's found the fairway, so no problems. Yeah, third hole. <laughs> Going back the opposite way, a second, second playing downwind, third playing into. Fortunate bounce there from Victor. Finds the fairway though, we're all good. Into the breeze a bit, so it'd be a little knockdown nine for Hovland. Uh, might have got caught up into the wind. Fleetwood. Little bump with a nine here, Fleetwood. That's okay from Tommy, just a bit short. He would have paid attention to what happened to Hovland's shot, I'm sure. A little bit about how important that is to DP World. Yeah, exactly. It's always that if you think about DP World as a, as, as a, you said, a global operator, you know, we need to be socially relevant as well. We have millions of customers around the world. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it was Tyron just watching it. So we take a look at Tommy Fleetwood's at birdie putt, trying to join Nikolai Hoygaard now at 12 under par. Go. Go. Just pitches on the front edge there. Fleetwood finds the green a long way away, but... Well, we could clearly go. see Fleetwood hit a four iron into this. Hovland oh. probably the same thing, asking for this to go. Also finds the left-hand side of this green. This for Birdie, for Fleetwood, up and over the hill. Bit of left to right in it. 
He's read it well. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You wouldn't see a better try from this far out. Oh, left in. Left out straight away under the line. It's still a good putt, though, from long range from Hovland. Distance control vital on this course. Has he got it? I'm sure he has. Yeah, he has one player more that finds that little pocket there at the back. Wants this to go a bit. Oh, just a couple of paces have been really good as well for Hovland. Hovland, birdie putt. Chance to draw up alongside Hoygaard. Now they have to come for Fleetwood. Not far away. Yeah, tricky ones to read these. Can he pick the line? Yes, he can. Pretty straight overall. Launched it sort of inside right and didn't do anything. 169 though. Breeze slightly hurting. Yeah, that's a good line from Fleetwood. I'm pretty sure he made the right decision. Wherever he was thinking about, Jamie Spence. Come on, Wayne. Sit. Yeah, that's what you're tending to do. Like Hovland, not what you'd expect to break. He's at the sixth, and oh, a little hit something as it was turning, which was never going in. But quickly to Fleetwood, birdie part to take it on his own, which he does. With that birdie there at the sick. Bunkers left and right. Caddy said shot Tom, so it's got to be okay. Perfect. Very high hands. You can usually tell by the facial expression of players how confident and how relaxed they play golf. You know, they, they never look like any doubt there for Hovland. Fairway wood for Tommy Fleetwood here up seven. Oh my goodness. Oh, a little unlucky, but what an exhibition of striking. Jamie's described that. Never left the flag, drawn it into the slope. Superb. A foot away, Ken, would have stayed. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'll say this week, Victor Hovland. Just with a, I think that's a three iron. Yeah, right. uh, just over the top of it. Just going a little bit left. Oh, what a bounce that is. What a bounce that is. Rosner's a short while ago. Surely not four out of four it is, you know. Oh, my goodness. He's human after all, Ken. Yeah, we've seen four people down there and they've all hold it. Terrible Hatton. Another birdie though, that's how you like them from about an inch. For Eagle. And a putt like that, you've got so much to get right. Coming out of the fringe, a little bobbly, it's quick, it's turning sharp to his right. Birdies, last... Uh, Hour or so, Hoblin with another chance to get a birdie to get to 12 under. And he's done it. Basically, if you're not making birdie or better out there, you're going backwards at the moment. Some pace being set by Tommy Fleetwood. But uh, Hovland hanging on to his coattails. He's in that group at 12 under now, two back. These great players. Suits Fleetwood this shot. Bit of draw. to giving it a bit more to see if he can clear it. Nice oh, did it down the right, so no problem there. From the perfect spot to a pin that's very accessible. Into a bit of breeze though, seven iron. Oh, 
dreamy. It was a lovely contact, nice low flight. Not ballooning in the air. A little ledge, only well, five or six paces deep. Jamie. He's played some good shots today, Thomas. That, uh, but that bunker shot out of that bunker for Fleetwood was incredible, I thought, to get it on the green. It was a great shot. Right to left early here for Fleetwood and straightens to take two putts all day. Uh, we have a chair. Well, it's six feet and a bit, and it's a very tricky one to read. Starts it left, it ain't coming back from there. No. Misread. Just a par for the FedEx Cup champion, stays two back. Well done, nice save. So he remains alongside Hoygaard at 14 under. You may see Matt Wallace has moved to 13 under par. He has just made his sixth straight birdie to start the back nine. Wallace, amazing stuff. Picked up his first PGA Tour title earlier in the season. Going down the left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. That stays in the rough, I think. Hovland unleashing one. Loves it. His little bread and butter fade holding into the slope of the fairway. Hovland up the hill to this left hand pin at nine. Very difficult. Par four. Seven aren't. It's a good one. Wind helping doesn't help either. Well, you hear him saying it came out dead, so that's only on the front of the green. Well, this will test you long putting. Up over this ridge, and now go left to right, up over the edge. Steady, steady. This is to close within one as well. He moves around to have a look. Will it, will it, will it? Oh, great effort. Got to get a good strike on it, keep your head still. Flawless stuff, isn't it? Easy, just flying all the way up there. Yeah. Oh, to Fleetwood. Three leftish, isn't it? In the last three holes for Tommy. Birdie hole here in 11. Got to hit the fairway though. Tommy Fleetwood coming out of the rough at 10. Mike, how did you find playing out of this Bermuda rough? Uh, luckily today I was only in, in it once, so I think that's uh, you know that that was a key to my my game today. Yeah, that was that was uh, I was I, had, I was in two bunkers today, so I was pretty happy with how they both come out. One I got up and down, and obviously 18 I didn't, but um, bunkers here they're just so good, so good. See if Hovland can stick it in close. He certainly can at the 10th. You know Jamie Spence is taking all the credit. He claims he gave you a little lesson in the sand last year. Play with a birdie. Just on the left edge here for Tommy. Oh, that was a good try. Remains at 14 under par. It's uh, the greens are just amazing. They're just good. Mike, I want to take my hat off to you because you know we were in here watching you guys play this morning. Let's go to Hovland back on the tee. <coughs> just the iron for position on 11. 
he must just have that swing on repeat for just days and days all the time. Yeah, that's a, a, a one thing that I've got in my um, head this year. I've just wanted to beat Kip. <laughs> I mean, he's been literally unstoppable this year, and you know, fair play to him. He puts the, the effort in and time in, and, and now it's uh, I've realised that I've got to start doing that again. And, you know, we're. Okay, you've got to bring the ball in from a mighty height if you're going to go straight at it and hold it by the flat. So they're not quite sure. So he's blind from this side, Hovland. Got to trust his number. Nice. Fleetwood had laid up quite a long way back, 172. It's Tommy Fleetwood from distance for birdie. good back over to 11 and Victor Hovland this time hard turning putt from left to right dives right as it's dying oh my hopped off the face up into the grain if you just slightly miss hit it the ball jumps a fraction you nearly always come up short so just a par Mike have you enjoyed being on the range with these guys this week and just picking up a few things from them Strike this one. That's a good lie. Oh, he's just laid it up. Not much for him to, to get. This looks like a four iron, just gripping down on it like Tommy so often does. And that's a solid, solid iron shot into the heart of the green. This is what's facing Hovland. He's laid up from the bunker. See the flag there. Oh. Got some check on that one, but great shot. 12 screen, Tommy Fleetwood from a long way away. Both Fleetwood and Hovland are struggling here for pass. Hovland to stay at 13 under. I like it. I like it. It took, didn't take any chances out of that fairway trap. Yeah, just looked a little bit of a pull. It was like his hand stopped as it got to the strike. Face closed down fractionally. Whatsoever for the FedEx Cup champion, his fifth birdie of the round. Let's go, Big Should be down the right hand side. Is he staying in the fairway? Uh, just off the first co off the collar there. Yeah, just starting it down the right-hand side, turning it over like we used to see Tom and Fleetwood as it's in the middle of the fairway. And it's long as well. It's going to be able to get up from there, I think. 303, the flag, but he's looking front left, really, Hovland with the three without the rough. Oh. Big risk without too much gain. Okay, -ish. He's had a go at it. Oh, he's it launched over the water with a draw. Oh, magnifique. Can't blame him there, can you? No, with that big clump of Bermuda behind the ball, you're certainly playing a, a cagey one. Old hole about halfway down. He wants to just run it over that. Yeah, we can actually see it. it's just there. Oh my goodness! 
Tommy Fleetwood. Time to take a bow. What a putt, what a putt. Who's within one? Oh, I give over. <laughs> oh, great part. I thought he was going to hold it. I was like, oh, this is too much. It's such a difficult golf course when you come here and play. You just like, you walk out and you think, oh, where am I going to find my birdies? And these guys are just tearing it apart. To 15. Little iron off the tee. Uh, 15. We hear Nikolai Hoygaard is safe on the previous hole. Back to Hovland. Different play him for him at the par four. Yeah, he's all out goal. Tommy Fleetwood went with the iron for safety and position. Victor's gonna go full at this. Yeah. Try and get up short right of the green. So a little late time. Might hit nine, but I'm not sure uphill. He's played so much under control today, Fleetwood. Another beauty raining down on the flag. He won't know it's. Eight, ten feet past, but covered the flag all the way. Winter signs some autographs over to Hovland. 54 yard, I think he'll drive this in low and try and spin it on the second bounce here, Hovland. Oh no, he's gone high. He's gone high, he needs a stick. few birdies on this hole but you know one or two mystery putts that people have scratched their heads tricky to read just shy's bar Lucky, lucky boy. Oh, he's rev drums over the edge of the bunker. 181 MPH. Pretty fast. See, Ken, they're not good. They're lucky. <laughs> Just about perfect, it's getting closer as well for Fleetwood. But not a great look at birdie for Tommy. Trying to ease it in just off the left cushion. Oh my goodness. That did very well to avoid dropping in. It's down green, just around the couple of green changes. You just want to keep a bit of pace on it, there's not going to be a dribbler. The boys Dang. from Bath. <laughs> Moves ahead with Fleetwood. Sits one back, Hovland, sixth berth the other day. You just get drawn to the pin. Finds the middle of the green, a bit short for Tommy. Let's take a look at our Fortinet stats. In the meantime, hole 17, hardest hole in the back nine this week. 28 bogeys or worse. Up by the green. feeling he's hit that he's left that bit left a bit as well two similar shots from Hovland and Fleetwood on 17. Hey, with the wind in your face you're just trying to knock it down you don't want to float one in the air so there's any tendency is just to close the club face a fraction okay but yeah.
Needs to slow down a bit for Fleetwood. It's a bit heavy handed. Just moved a little bit at the end. It looked like a really well struck putt actually from Tommy. So it's a shot back for Tommy, I'm afraid, on 17. Alongside this man to stay there, Hovland, which he does. We both started the day at minus nine. We both head to the 18th at minus 15. Yeah, the tees are way up. A number have gone up that right side today. Well, it certainly makes it easier, Ken, doesn't it? You can get it there. Yeah, it's a much better angle to the green. It's not the widest of fairways at the driving distance today. Well, it's it going right. He, yeah, that's where he's aiming. Don't, Hang move, on. don't want this to move too far right for Hovland. Ooh, I'm not so sure he's going to have a shot at the green from there. He's got a tree in front of him. Might need something a la John Rahm from over that way. It's going right also Fleetwood. We want this to move further left. Come on, ball. <laughs> Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> Aiming to the right fair and just hitting the left hand side. And it's sitting like a lollipop. It sits in the first cut. You could almost hit a driver from where he is now. He'll have, of course, a lot shorter than that into the screen. Too much trees in his way and the lie's not great. So he's just pitching it down the fairway, very wise. Might actually go to, go to the other side of the water there to give himself a great angle. Or maybe just here to the front of him. Uh, he's just moving this forward. Such an easy pin to pitch to, it's like going into the plug hole of a basin. Oh no. My goodness, is, is he getting lucky again? Oh. Well, we've seen that from somebody else on the first day, <laughs> if you remember, I Ken. Do. Oh, it's okay. Not his best, but it's okay. Went a bit steep on this. Well, popped up a bit, maybe. Water. Looks like he's going to play a sort of medium height, grippy one by his practice swing. You know, I was just about to say, you know, we, we saw when Tommy took his practice swing the amount of grass that stood up, so that was clearly playing into the grain where. The precision of your strike needs to be perfect. And you just grab, look, you can see it from here. If you just catch a little bit of grass ahead of the ball, the ball goes nowhere. You know, down but he's just rattled one bass on the last and missed it. So this is pretty quick, the last bit as well. Just feathers it down there. Just died at the death on him. So just the par for Victor Hovland, still uh, two consecutive rounds of at 66. He's going to go into the final day, trailing by one. Still poised and red. It dropped for Tommy Fleetwood, he too, with a 66. And they finish like they started on the same number from 9 under to 15 under. They both ventured within one of the lead going into the final round. not the finish 
Fleetwood would have liked. The bogey on 17, three putts uh, along the way. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.